Viewers and subscribers, one the British wife break down again and she put out another emotional post. But this time is not about one the British. So today she put out a picture of her and her mother hugging on Instagram and in the caption she put I have lost my left and my right and now all I have is you mother. My heart today on your birthday we should be jet setting to New York City to buy the single most important dress I'll ever wear. But instead you're laying in a hospital bed battling for your life and I'm planning a funeral instead of a wedding. Two months ago, we were living a fairy tale, and today it seems like we're living in a nightmare that won't end. Today, I want to celebrate you, but instead, I'm praying to Father God to pull you through. Eight weeks is too long, Jesus. Please give her back to me. I long for her warm embrace and to see her smile again. It's hard to communicate with you, mom, because the loss of Alfonso has already affected you deeply, and you're in no position to take on this level of pain. Mommy dearest, I need you more than ever. Father God, Lord of Lords, King of Kings, I ask you to cover my mother in your blood, restore her health, and return her to me. My heart cannot take no more. Nothing happy about this birthday. Hashtag Amen. <clears throat> All right, viewers and subscribers. So, when you see what I go on now, one British wife, her mother, sick and in the hospital, a battle for her life. And boy, when I see this, I say, Watch your man. This lady, I go through so much things at the same time. Because guess what? She lose her father, then she lose one British, and now her mother in the hospital. Jano Star, this really make me feel a way. I'm not telling a lie. And some of the people them over there comment some things them are pray like crazy on our Instagram page. One person said to her, say, when it rains, it pours. I truly feel sad when I read this. I wish your mom a blessed birthday. She will pull through whatever she is going through and you, hon, will break this barrier. And the next person said, I can't imagine what you're going through, but I pray your mother will pull through to give you comfort. Never stop believing in God. Stay prayed up and he'll deliver you through your stormy days. The next person said, oh my, this is so touching. I hope the Lord will pull her through and he will definitely will continue to hold the faith and pray. The next person said to her, say, wow. What a year it has been for you and your family. I don't know you personally, but I've been watching your journey and felt so moved by your love story. I am deeply sorry that you are going through so much. I hope your mom can pull through and you can get those warm hugs you miss. I know you need her and she needs you. I just hope things get better for you and your loved ones. Keep fighting and pushing through miracles can happen god is working he is still working miracles he did it for me and i know he can do it for your mother doctors gave up on me i was in icu for days but i prayed and held on to my faith and god gave me another chance your mother have to pray and believe in god talk to him and ask him for one more chance and he will do it i pray god will give you Strength, my dear. I don't know you, but I followed you on Instagram and I see you have a lot on your plate. But with God by your side, you will pull through. God bless you and your daughter. Alright, viewers and subscribers. So, that are some of the comments that we share get over on our Instagram page. And may I tell you, a person says something when it rain it really pours because look how much thing this woman here go through and while me even at that now it's like me I imagine and I say watch there we have so much things to be grateful for in life you understand and some of we don't know how important it is for pray to God and at least thank him for wake up healthy you see what I say? Some people come around and them go on like say them untouchable but it's a pity them don't know say a God I cover them Anyway, viewers and subscribers, what I said, this woman here got through a whole heartache. You see me? And 
Boy, she has to stay strong and then you know the funeral depend on her mind which is one British funeral and now her mother in the hospital so how much things she got juggle imagine you in a her shoes you think you could have managed that is not everybody have the mental capacity for manage so much things at the same time you know cause not only that she have to watch over her mother but she have to watch over her daughter as well you see me and my also see things are growing say she and her daughter life at stake and all kind of thing even though me not to follow up rumors cause that are here say at least me know when she posts this on instagram a official thing but when me say viewers and subscribers she have so much things she have to watch out for her own life safety she have to watch out for her daughter safety she have to watch over her mother to make sure say you know the doctors them are take care of her you understand what me say she have to think about funeral and then she just lose her father the other day so how much things that woman I go through in a one year me not tell a lie I don't know if I could manage it, but them say God never give anyone more than what them can bear. You understand? And trust me, this is really sad. And while I talk about this, is like I feel so much emotion for this woman. Yeah. You can know so she really down because when you look on a the picture there when she hug up her mother, you can see so she really love her mother. Which is right because your mother bring up on earth. You understand? So you're supposed to love her. But you know you have them type of people out there when you really check for them mother a certain way. But you can see that she's not that type. She love and respect her mother just like what the Bible says you're supposed to do. Honor your mother and your father and your days will be longer. So Boy, this is a sad situation as me say. This woman I really I got through it and really wish her the best and viewers and subscribers if you can pray for her pray that her mother get better and come out of the hospital and everything because guess what? God make everything possible. You understand? So Hope everything work out for her. Hope everything work out for her mother. Because boy, I can't imagine I hear nothing funeral wise again at this time for her. You understand? Because how much funeral can one person plan at the same time? You understand? You need space for at least relieve the stress of one. You understand? And get together your thoughts certain way. And then you can maybe deal with certain things when you build up enough emotions. But if you deal with so much things that come at you at the same time, are one of the hardest things. And some people might not fully understand what I say. And maybe me can't fully understand what she go through. But at the same time, all that we know how it feel for lose a loved one. All that we know how it feel for have somebody who is sick in the hospital and you have to pray say, boy, even if it's a brother, a sister, it no matter, it can't even be a friend. All that we know how it go for you pray for somebody in the hospital and I say, God, please make that person be okay. So we know how she feel, you understand? Unless you're emotionless, you wouldn't understand. But when I say viewers and subscribers, I really hope her mother pull through because one person that deserve to go through so much pain, but Father God have something up him sleeve for you, you see me? And trust me, everything I got to work out for you. But just comment and make me know what you think about this. One British wife, I got through a next situation. Her mother in the hospital now. And I mean, boy, it really depressing viewers and subscribers. Trust me. Me don't know the woman personally, but you don't know, say, me have a heart. You understand? So things have to touch me. And not because me is a man, enough man love play tough. But at the same time, you have to have emotions. You understand? You have to know when to break down your barrier a certain way and look upon things from different angles. As I say, pray for your viewers and subscribers and I just hope her mother make it through because she really has got through a whole heap right now. And I know she's still a mourning over the loss of her husband because that was a couple weeks now in past where we don't know about the whole situation with the bike man, them shoot him and so forth. And obviously, as I say, she lose her father the other day and then now our mother so we just hope everything work out the right way how it's supposed to work out and that's all i say and we just have to leave it in god's hands because god knows what is best and also i all forget to say the other day how oh, one british granddaughter even come out and this up the woman you understand and boy it messed up when you don't really have nobody certain way you know, because guess what in the post me notice say, she writes say, she only have her mother Zane, so you can know that she don't really have a whole lot of support system around her, or at least that's what it looked like to me. Because you know, she basically I say, All I have is you. As me say, 
the granddaughter come out the other day and I talk about one British family don't like her, the wife that is, you see me, and all these things. She did say a bag of something. I don't remember everything what she did say, but she did a talk up a whole heap of things, which I don't really know what to believe when it comes to that part because you don't know a woman or a girl that, you see me, I say, so they won't make for say anything. Anyway, if you was on subscribers, comment and make me know what you think about this whole situation with one British wife, a breakdown, I may tell you, only persons who don't have a heart now going to be affected by this post. Anyway, if you was on subscribers, have a blessed day, one love. Speech, speech, speech. The great February 13 that I mean, this is the woman who I'm not interested in, and she came <laughs> now it's eight years, and we have one another. APA support. Hey, happy anniversary! anniversary. <laughs>